Oh, hey, Larry David calling for Jake. Oh, hey, Larry, how are you? Oh, couldn't be better. Oh, good. Hey, I read the script. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um... Ah, you read the script. I did. I did. Well, congratulations. You can read. That's so great. Hey, did you call earlier? Our phones have been down all day. Yeah, I was calling to see if Jake had converted. <laughs> but um bump. What's that? But um bump. <laughs> you know. Mm, yeah, that's what I thought you did. I'll get Jake for you. Yeah, and uh, while you're at it, maybe you can think of an adjective for the script. Jake, I've got Larry David on the phone for you. Larry, Bubby. How are you? Good. Listen, we have to recast the young Larry part, and it's going to take a couple of weeks before we can start rehearsal. OK. It's your show. We're just paying for it. Thank you. I appreciate that. By the way, your assistant gave me a ba-dump bump. ba -dump bump. Yeah, like I'm a comic in the Catskills. By the way, she is on the call. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hi, Larry. I'm, I'm still here, so. Why is she on the phone? She's my assistant, Larry. She takes notes. That's part of the gig. No, it's not part of the gig. She's not a court stenographer. I've taken notes on all, all your calls, just F FYI. Get off the phone. Jake, get her off the phone. Should I be writing all this, Jake? She's not She's get the fuck off the phone. I'm getting off. I'm off. Hang oh, off. I'm off She's of hanging the phone. up, Larry. She's hanging up. Everything is off. I think she's off now. Don't ever do that to me again. I'm sorry about that. So what do you want to talk about? I already told you. I, I don't remember. You might want to check your notes. Without Jimmy Mayhew, it is not the result we wanted. You can just kiss goodbye to the fertilizer run-up, Bill. See you later, guys. Bye. What? Oh, my God. You? I am so sorry about the election. One vote. Your fault. I've learned my lesson. Every vote counts. Every vote counts. I, it really sunk in. Anyway, I'm awfully sorry. I, I got these for you. You know, I've missed you. I, I was watching the House of Representatives on C-SPAN, and it ma made me think of you. Then I watched Mr. Smith Goes to Washington with Jimmy Stewart in the filibuster, and I was thinking to myself, I bet Irma would be a great filibusteress. Thank you. Yeah. But I'm still mad at you. So mad. So disappointed. Yeah, everybody's disappointed in me uh. at some point. But you know what? I'd love to be friends again. Can I take you out to dinner and make it up to you with a big, sumptuous, expensive meal? OK. You can call me. Yeah. But not tonight. I'm finishing a cleanse. I'm preparing for a colonoscopy. <laughs> You're gonna get that law repealed. I know it. Well, the recasting's buying us some extra time, which is great. Yeah. And when I called Jake, yeah. his assistant Carly answered the phone. She gave me a but um bump. Yeah, Carly likes that. Carly likes that? I kind of think it's adorable. Hmm. Something you want to ask me? No, I... I I'll I, tell you if you I, ask you know, me. You have to tell me, because I already know. Yeah, that's why I'm buying the stupid fresh-cut lilac bath and body wash, because Carly smells like that. I'm with her. If Susie smells it on me, she'll get suspicious. So I'm going to have it in the house and be using it all the time. Well, that's a brilliant move. Yeah. You better get used to me smelling like a lilac. I'm having lunch with Larry Flynn. Let me ask you something. What, what's the protocol here? Do I let him roll all the way to me, or do, do I meet him halfway? What's, what's the deal? Well, you're both going to end up here. Should I tell him you need a little work? Uh, no, I'll find something. First of all, don't take jobs you don't want for my sake. Okay. It's like if somebody owes you something, you never know what the etiquette is.